Hello everyone and welcome to Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the Editor-in-Chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And in this video, we will recap this week's market action and preview our Sunday night video. But first up, to get our market moving reports on top small caps, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up with your email on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. Mobile is the fastest way to get all of our reports and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And after you sign up, you will get a welcome email which includes a free copy of the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free services from InsiderFinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever, no Discord rooms or Telegram chat groups. With that out of the way, guys, uh, well, the S&P 500 added 0.87% on uh, today to settle at 4,169 points. Uh, posting gains in three out of five sessions. Sentiment was helped by strong earnings from major technology companies. However, gains were somewhat capped by jitters surrounding the regional banking space and economic data that stoked recession worries. Big Tech took a chunk of the spotlight this week. FANG members Alphabet and Meta platforms impressed with the results, especially the latter which saw its stock popped nearly 14%. The Google owner beat on both top and bottom line and boosted its share buyback, while the Facebook parent blew past advertising revenue expectations and touted its work on artificial intelligence. Meanwhile, Microsoft and Intel's reports were also cheered. The former saw its stock jump more than 7% after analysts heaped praise on its Azure cloud unit's performance, while the latter provided outlook that signaled the PC downturn could be nearing an end. The one negative spot was Amazon, shares of which erased a post-earnings gain following a warning on cloud growth. Outside of big tech, the week also saw reports from well-known names such as the world, such as UPS, industrial conglomerate 3M and GE, telecom giant Verizon, plane maker Boeing, and automaker General Motors. Next week, the earnings season will see announcements from Apple, AMD, Qualcomm, Ford, Starbucks, and others. A steadily worsening situation at First Republic Bank also took a chunk of the spotlight this week, reigniting concerns over the stability of the financial system. The lender on Monday disclosed over $70 billion of deposit outflows in its first quarter, sending its stock plummeting on Tuesday. The saga further deepened after reports said the White House, the Fed, and the Treasury were considering plans to save the bank. This was followed by another report which said FRC, FRC, FRC RC was considering selling up to 100 billion of securities and mortgages. Finally, on Friday, FRC said was said to be heading for an imminent regulatory takeover. The stock has shed a whopping 75% for the week. The banking worries, along with the data during the week that continued to show major signs of cooling in the U.S. economy, have led to market participants bolster, bolstering their expectations that the Fed might be close to ending its rate hiking campaign. Chief among the economic data was the initial estimate for uh, Q1 GTP, which showed a gain of 1.1%, significantly lower than the 2.6% growth seen in Q4. However, on Friday, the Core Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, a key inflation gauge monitored by the Fed, came in unchanged for March from February in a sign that inflation was moderating. All eyes will be on the Fed next week with its Monetary Policy Committee meeting scheduled to end on Wednesday. According to the CME FedWatch tool, markets are now pricing in around an 80% probability of a 25 basis point hike. But this week was all about Chinese low floaters. The shorts got squeezed and I love it. From last night's video, I previewed top just a 5 million share float closed up 441%. There was plenty of opportunities uh, today. Uh, you could have bought it here at $50 and it ran all the way to 240. So plenty of opportunities. These We have not seen these types of returns in a long, long time. And this has me super, super excited about the markets going forward. Uh, UCAR closed up 26%. Uh, recent Chinese IPO, just a 7 million share float. 
M-E-G-L. I previewed this one la uh, Thursday night. It was just a, I said it was just a $20 million market cap and $7 million share float. Closed up 331%. TCJH, another recent Chinese IPO, just an $11 million share float, up 67%. Uh, MGIH, just an 11 million share float. This was the only one that was down on the day, uh, but only down 3%. Uh, WLGS, a recent Chinese, a recent Hong Kong IPO, up 20%. HUDI, I previewed this one, guys. I said I really like this one. This is a Chinese stainless steel company, real business, uh, looked undervalued, 38 million at on Thursday night, it had just a $38 million market cap and a 4 million share float. What I liked most and what I told you guys in the video was already 8% of the float was short. This is why we got this big move up 382% for the day. Guys, we had plenty of opportunities all day long. You could have bought it under $4 and then we got the afternoon spike. So just a great, great day uh, in HUDI. Hope you guys banked. Uh, JYD, uh, recent Chinese IPO, closed unchanged. Not a lot to uh, be excited about there. Uh, talked about AMTD up 8% and HKD up 23%. These were the original uh, small cap uh, Chinese low floaters uh, from last year that had huge, huge spikes. Three names that I missed, uh, JZXN closed up 74%, DXF up 186%, and QH up 6%. Uh, another name uh, that I missed was uh, uh, WETG. Uh, put this one in here, forgot to add this one. Uh, WETG uh, closed up 41%. So this was another name that I missed. But as you can see, small caps are heating up. Uh, sentiment is positive. People are reading Wall Street bets again on Reddit. Uh, stocks like top are front page news. Let's face it. We all trade to get rich. We all want to follow the GameStop saga. We want that to continue. We want that type of market. That's why we're doing this, uh, why we're trading. We want to make a lot of money. Let's face it. You know, a lot of people just don't want to admit that, but it's true. Uh, and, you know, last year after everything, you know, we went into a bear market. A lot of people left the markets. Um, you can see it with, uh, you know, I, we can see it all here at InsiderFinancial.com. You know, we can see that our subscriptions dropped off, uh, even though it's a free service. Uh, Webull, you know, we have a, fr uh, a free referral link in the description. Signups there are way down. People just don't want to trade. Uh, but I think all that now is, ch is going to change. Um, you know, when people see, you know, stories like top, uh, HUDI up 382%, MEGL up 331%, you know, this is going to get people back in interested in the market and where that new interest is going to be volume and that's going to create a lot more opportunities. So it's again, you know, trading is all a supply and demand. You know, if there's more supply, less demand, stocks go down. If there's uh, more demand, less supply, stocks go up. So it's it's really that simple. But I'm feeling great. It was a great week here at InsiderFinancial.com for me and for our subscribers. Uh, my plan this weekend is to run screens on all the Chinese low float stocks, uh, looking for hopefully next week's big runner. I'm going to be uh, talking about these, uh, what I find on the Sunday night video. So, you know, Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, I will also be uh, looking for, uh, you know, stocks that are worthy of deep dives uh, for our subscribers. So, you know, uh, we're always looking for that next big runner, you know, and, and covering the latest small cap news. Uh, so you guys know what's going on and most importantly, why a stock is running. Our goal here at InsiderFinancial.com is to educate and help you make you guys better traders and investors. If you want our reports, again, it's a completely free service. You know, no spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You know, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up with your email on any of the pop-ups on InsiderFinancial.com. 
Finally, guys, Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is an I solicitation recommendation by Seller Hold Securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for watching. Remember to smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.